Number one, this is Amanda from the Tianjin Tofa Electric Power Technology Corporation Limited, and our short form is TTF Power, as you can see from my behind backboard, and you can see our company name, TTF Power, and I also want to show our, uh, like, uh, the Facebook fans, and uh, this is my first time that I just uh, do my live streaming show on the two platforms, and I was supposed to have my live streaming at around the Beijing time, like 2 o'clock p.m., but there's something wrong with my live streaming schedule, so I just delayed it for about four minutes, and uh, I hope so uh, that they will not bother you. So let's just like a quick review of what we just talked about um, about in the past weeks. So in the last week, we do four uh, live streaming shows and we talk about the power transmission tower, electrical poles, uh, and also the uh, overhead line fittings, power line fittings. And, and also yesterday, I believed if you just uh, stay tuned for our YouTube channel. You have may also watch the live streaming show that Lisa talked about the insulators. And I hope you have just learned a lot from our live streaming shows. And also, I hope you can also learn a lot from my today's introduction. So uh, before I start my topic, I want to introduce our today's topic with um, a story of mine. So when I was a little girl, I was just too kind of scary about a lightning storm. And I believed that all the citizens, um, I believed that all, all the fans from here, I believed um, they, all the northern part of the globe have entered into the stormy season. I think uh, there are a lot of power rings. And now in Tianjin, like in China, uh, we uh, so outside there have some little rains uh, in the morning, but now it has been um, just just stopped. The rain has just stopped. So I'm here uh, to talk about is that I was just too scared about these stormy seasons and those kind of extre extreme weather. And so at this time, my mom will told me, Oh, please be careful. Do not watch TV in those powering weather because the lightning will attack you and then it will cause power outage. But nowadays, with the usage of our today's product, it finally it comes the power surge arrestor. Uh, so we don't have to worry my mom or our family members, they do not have to worry about our safety and or to worry about our building safety. So that brings us to our today's topic. And I believe you, if you can see my uh, blackboard, I just write it here, like power surge raster. So surge raster are uh, of great importance for our safety, but do you know why or how uh, that of our neighbors and the, the integrity of buildings, for example, are threatened on stormy days and extreme weathers. Consequently, installing this power line hardware, like surge raster, and carrying out adequate maintenance and revision tasks is very essential. So after bringing our today's topic, I want to start to talk about our first topic. The first and the foremost, let's talk about what is lightning. Uh, I believe you must have heard this word in the summer, in the summer air, but you just don't know the definition of it. And I will do a brief introduction to this word. So lightning is strong and natural discharge of Static electricity, which is normally produced during an electrical storm that generates an electromagnetic pulse. This electrical discharge is accompanied by the emission of light, known as lightning, caused by the passage of electric current, which ionizes the air molecules and by the sound of thunder caused by the shock wave, electricity 
Passing through the atmosphere rapidly heats and ex expands the air, producing the characteristic noise of thunder. Lightning can cast different effects,、uh, like thermal, physiological, electrodynamic, or electrochemical, among others. Thermal and physical are the most important thing. So the thermal effects are due to the high temperature reached by the channel through which the lightning current circulates, leaving temperature of up to twenty thousand degrees. The physiological effects affect the living beings and are due to the stresses after the lightning discharge on Earth. So I have to say that in our today's、um, brief introduction of the power surge arresters,、uh, I will base the talk about too much things. Like I will do a lot of output,、um, but I'm not、um, to do like. Like I used to to draw some simple pictures, I'm not do this today.、Um, but I will show the finished product, like the samples of our product. So please stay tuned. Um. So after this brief introduction of lightning, let's move to our next item. Finally, it comes. What is the raster, and how does it work? Uh, so let's see the sample of our product. Look, this one. I have to say that this is a small one and it's much lighter. And in,、uh, in the outfit, we have more heavy one, but I don't have the weight to hold it.、Uh, so I just show this small one for you guys. So this is a power surge raster. You can see that.、Uh, so here you can see this material、uh, is polymer. Uh, and also, this is a site. So this is a supporting bracket for this power surge arrester. This is a site. Okay. So this is our sample. And if you are interested in our power line hardware or for this today's power surge arrester, please comment below or just have the interactions with me. So let's talk about it. A surge raster is a metal structure made up of point bars that is capable of directing ionizing rays towards the ground, so as to cause damage to people or buildings. At the moment, the lightning impacts the anti region. Surge raster must always be installed above the highest part of the structure to be protected. And will be responsible for safely capturing and channeling the lightning discharge. So, surge arrester has a metallic body and a tip connected and conductive network to a grounding system where the lightning discharge is dissipated. A surge arrester installation is made up of three elements, like three elements. A capture electrode, which is the arrester, an electro ground connection, and a cable to conduct the lightning current. So, the arrester seek to prevent lightning from hitting trees or buildings by trying to change their trajectory towards them. They achieve this thanks to two circumstances already mentioned: their location and their composition. In this way, the two main functions of surge arresters are to. So here is the main point of today: these functions. So that is to direct ionized rays and to prevent the lightning from causing damage. Okay, that moves us to our third item here. Like is cover area. So what is approximate area covered by a surge arrester? Um. So let's talk about it. The radius is covers depends on several factors. Among these factors is the type of head, the type of material, the height of the surge arrester. Generally located in high areas of large buildings to increase that the head. Hat, among others, being able to cover radius of up to one kilometers. 
seed production, over wattage are wattage rise that it can appear on electrical lines that can cause, among other things, damage to equipment connected to the network. Over wattages are produced by direct and indirect atmospheric discharges, disconnection of inductive loads, network communications, and faults in them. Over wattages are large wattage spikes with a steep slope and short duration, even so. Their effects on electronic equipment are remarkable for proper protection of the equipment. A low value grounding system must be made and connected to the external protection system. Installing external lightning production, protection and third protectors considerably reduce the risk of lightning damage to structures, uh, equipment, and people. So um, I have to say that I'm sorry. I think there are some constructions um, from the top of the floor. I don't know. But if you just hear the noise, I, I hope you are not mindful of that. So I'm so sorry for the noise if you just heard them. So let's move focused on our today's topic, the power surge arrestor. So after talking about uh, what is lightning and talk about the definition of power surge arrestor and its work principle, um, maybe you cannot just uh, say the blackboard's word, but I just uh, talk about it. Uh, and after talk about the cover of it, let's move on to the different types of it. I believe maybe you are just cannot wait to get to know more about this product and to get know more about our TTF Powers power line hardware. Um, so here, let's talk about it. There are too many types of it. That's from our first one, the low voltage surge arrestor. So it was applied in low voltage distribution system. Uh, exchange of electrical appliance protector, low voltage distribution transformer windings. The next one, distribution raster. So it it was uh, it is applied in three kV, six kV, ten kV AC power distribution systems to protect distribution transformers, cables, and power station equipment. The next one, the station type of common wave arrestor. So it is used to protect the three to 220 kV transformer station equipment and communication systems. And the next one, magnetic blow valve station arrestor. So it was used to 35 to 500 kV protect communication system transformers and other equipment. Next one, protection of rotating machine using magnetic blow valve arrestor. So it is used to protect the AC generator and motor installation. The next one, DC or blade valve type arrestor. It was used to protect the DC systems installation of electrical equipment. Next one, neutral protection arrestor apply in motor or the transformer neutral protection. Next one, fiber tube arrestor apply in the power station spheres and the weakness protection in the insulated. Next one, plug in signal arrestor. So it was used to twisted power transmission line in order to protect the communication and computer systems yeah, thanks for your comments. So if you are interested in power line hardware, power line hardware, or on today's topic, the power surge raster, please stay tuned for our YouTube channel. And also we have our Facebook live streaming, and you can also follow us like TTF Power Facebook. So let's move us to the next type of power surge raster, which is the high frequency feeder raster. That is used to protect the microwave 
mobile base stations, satellite receivers, and etc. The next one is receptance type third arrestor. So it is used to protect it, protect the terminal electro, electronic equipment. And the next one, the signal raster. So it is a, a, applied in MODM, DDN line, fax, phone, process control signal circuit, or and so on. Um, and the next one, that is the network arrestor. So it is applied in servers, workstations, and interference, etc. So that's bring us to our last type of power surge raster. That is coaxial cable lightning raster. So it is is used on the coaxial cable to protect the wireless transmission and receiving system. So that's all the different types of the arresters. And if you just um, have large equipment, um, can they use the on house const construction? And that's a good question. I have to say that uh, like our finished product here, like this sample, I can we can see that uh, that is made in the household construction, um, which can protect our household electricity because when we use the electricity in our home, uh, in those like ex extreme weathers when there is lightning or storms, we do need this like power surge raster to protect our own safety and our electrical safety so we will not meet that kind of situation that the power outage we don't want to live in the dark right because we just live in the modern world and we cannot live without electricity so that's definitely can use on the house construction for the so that one that sample can definitely use it. but for like um, in our company, we do have the high voltage, um, like uh, we do have the power surge arresters, which used the, in the high voltage transmission systems, but we, I cannot hold it because it's too heavy. Maybe next time I can show it for you. So thanks for our question. Uh, and if you have more questions, you can tap it in the comment box and I can see that. And I'm very glad to have the interactions with all the TTF fans. So let's move on to our next topic. That is uh, what to do during a thunderstorm. So we talk about the product, the power surge raster, and we also want to share how to protect ourselves in those extreme weathers. So experts have concluded that uh, the odds of being struck by lightning are 1 in 3,100. So, however, it, it is estimated that approximately 24,000 people die annually from lightning worldwide. This figure includes the incidents such as uh, fires that from direct hits are much lower. So here bring us to this question. What should we do if you uh, you are surprised by a storm or, or you just a struck or have those opportunity um, be struck by the thunderstorm in those open field? Then how should we do to protect ourselves? Yeah, thank you. And the world thanks you for asking me questions. So the first thing you 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 have to do is to seek a shelter, and no, don't do what was is first come to your mind. Maybe a lot of us will try to oh, I have to find a tree, and that is not the right thing to do. In fact, this is the last thing you should do. And that one of the places are because the trees are one of the most um, places which are likely to be struck by the lightning. And I have to say that if there is nothing around, the best position to protect yourself from the lightning is to sit with your feet together and with your head against your chest 
or place with your knees. Like you have to bend your body and maybe you're just like like a round shape. Uh, I'm not going to show you this, but you can from my description. Um, that is the right thing to do to protect yourself uh, when you face the lightning. And never lie down on the ground. You don't. You don't. You you are not going to lie down on the ground. And you have to find the right position to protect yourself. Um, so that is uh, make your uh, like make your cover is small, and cap and you also have to cover your ears and close your eyes to protect yourself from lightning and just wait the storm to stop and then you'll be safe in the end. So, oh, I'm sorry, there's some noise in the up, up, up front floor and I'm, I hope that will not this, what this, I hope that not bother you. So, after all my introductions today, we all know that the importance of the surge raster for our safety and to and also to our electrical like electricity safety. So the next thing you have to do, maybe you decide to oh uh, to think about do do you have any power and utility needs of buying any kind of power line hardware, pole line hardware, they all had the line fittings. Uh, or power surge raster insulators or any other type of products, you name it. Um, we all do this, then you can think about it clearly. Do you need it? So if you need it, please remind us, we are a leading Chinese manufacturers of all those power line hardwares. And also if you want more information, you can go visit our website that is ttfpower.com and also you can stay tuned for youtube channel and and also for all the my facebook fans and um, please stay tuned for our facebook uh, because we will upload more videos and more uh, product details in the future so um, after talking about all these things, let's have a quick review of what we have just talked about today. The first thing, we talk about the definition of lightning. Can, can you see that? Okay. And here, the second thing, we talk about the definition of the power surge raster and also its work principle. And the third thing we talk about is cover area. Um, of the power surge directors. Um, and for our the third topic, we talk about it. The different types of the power surge director. And finally, we talk about a very useful knowledge or information we kite. We talk about how to protect ourselves in the lightning. We just uh, uh, like hang out in the open field and you cannot find any shelters and how to do that at like the right position. And I hope everyone can learn from it because we know that uh, in those times, um, this is a stormy season and maybe you will face more uh, extreme weather. Uh, the best thing to do, you can stay home. But if you have to hang out and how to protect them, we have to like grasp those knowledge and it will be very helpful and will be beneficial for us. So I think that's all the things, uh, that all the content I want to talk about today. And I hope you do learn a lot from my today's introduction. And I hope you also like my introduction for all this product information of those educational knowledge that I talk about. So I hope to see you guys next week. And uh, I think I'll end up here. And I hope everyone will have a good day and goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye bye.